Hi everyone. Sorry that I haven't made a video in a couple of days here, um, but when I first built my new computer a couple of years ago, I lacked the knowledge on hard drives and accidentally bought one of the slowest you can get, which is the um, Western Digital Caviar Green, and I have one, both a one terabyte and a two terabyte, the one terabyte I was using for all of my recordings and things like that. So I ran into glitches with pretty much all the videos that I made recently. And because of that, it pretty much forced me to go out and buy new hard drives. So um, it costs a lot of money, but it was totally worth it. And it's really wonderful because now it is so much easier to get um, more videos out. So I'll have more videos and higher quality videos and all of that because I won't be having to deal with fighting my computer on different problems that happen during the recordings. So I actually went out and bought a Samsung 840 Evo one terabyte SSD or solid state drive and it is wonderful. It is super fast. It has helped so much with doing recordings now. Um, so that's definitely going to help me with getting everything out much quicker and much easier. Um, and then I also am using now a Hitachi DeskStar 7K 4000 4 terabyte, and I'm using that for pretty much keeping all of my backup files and all those kinds of things and probably transferring over any videos that I might want to go in and edit later. Um, so for now, that's what I have for my setup. So in today's video, now that we're past all of the history of switching out my hard drives and everything, um, which is why it took so long. I had to do lots of deleting and moving files and backing up and all that. So not exactly fun, but you guys will have all the benefits from that. So today my video is on making Guild Wars 2, which is a wonderful MMO. Um, besides Terra, it is probably, uh, well, both Terra and Guild Wars 2 pretty much fit as the best MMOs that I've ever played and the only MMOs that I actually enjoy. So um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take Guild Wars 2 and use an Xbox 360 controller or other gamepad with it to create more of a true action RPG experience. Uh, it's really easy, but it does require the purchase of a certain product, uh, which is relatively inexpensive. Um, and I'm not, it's not like an affiliate thing or anything. I don't get anything from you guys purchasing it. Um, they don't even have an affiliate program as far as I understand. So, um, for now, you can also take advantage of it through a trial and I'm going to have the link to that in the description below so that you can use the trial in order to try this out and see if it's something that you'd like. But for me, the purchase was totally worth it because just for Guild Wars it works, but then you can also use it for games like Mass Effect 3 uh, and other games as well. Um, if games don't have native settings for a controller, this will basically make it so you can use a controller with them. Um, so it's really easy. You just have to buy, purchase, or use the trial of Pinnacle Game Profiler, which I have open right here. I have my controller set to Xbox 360 for Windows and Xbox 360 emulator, which is the default configuration if you have an Xbox 360 controller plugged in. I just recently, today, deleted my Guild Wars 2 profile so that I could show you how to do this completely from scratch. So we'll go to the PGP or Pinnacle Game Profile or Download menu. And if this doesn't work, I will also show you how to go to their website and download it manually that way and then load it as well. So it just takes a little bit for it to load and then you'll see a different or a whole set of different games and things that you can download profiles for um, to work with the gamepad. So you have like the Elder Scrolls Online, Mass Effect 3, Guild Wars 2, etc. So in this case, we're going to download Guild Wars 2, and if this download doesn't work, which it might not, um, then, I, like I, I said, I'll show you the other option. So the controller that we're going to use is the controller Xbox 360, but it should have your controller if you're using something else, any other kind of gamepad or something like that. And as long as it's in the default uh, area, you shouldn't have to change anything here at all. So I have it in C, Program Files, x86, Guild Wars 2 because I'm running a 64-bit system. And then it's not installed through Steam, so I say no to this, and then just hit Install Profile. 
Now it just takes a second to install the profile and it's really nice. It creates a profile automatically. You just click on it at the top of the screen here and the configuration is default Todd MD2. So now from in here you can go in and edit it um, and it will also show you the different um, the controller over the overlay which shows you all the different um, commands. So let me just grab my Xbox 360 controller and I'll start up Guild Wars and show you how this works. When you first run this, you should get a little bit of a mouse emulator um, setting thing and ask you to set it to a certain default setting. Just follow all of the defaults and then um, from here I'm going to pause the video so I can enter in my password uh, and then we'll continue.